Hello everyone. Uh, good evening. So, in today's session, we are going to discuss about Firebase, and we are going to discuss uh, some features and uh, what the uh, Firebase consists of. So, in last session, Flutter session, we discussed uh, some topics about Firebase, right? About uh, plans and some features, and uh, about CLI, how to create a project and how to uh, do the console and everything. So in today's session, we are going to discuss some uh, topics, what is Firebase and everything. So we are going to discuss and we are going to see uh, what are things we are going to do in the Firebase. So here you all know the introduction about Firebase, uh, mainly Firebase is a database uh, where you can store the data like uh, images, videos and audio files and uh, this Firebase is mainly used to authentication processes. So you can uh, do authentication like email verifications, uh, SMS verifications, and etc. Uh, etc. Et we are going to discuss today in this session. And here you can see cloud storage, cloud messaging, hosting, and real-time databases, etc. And uh, Firebase is a real-time database, and which is mainly used by many number of clients, and it consists of a single database where. Uh, Many of the users can uh, access the database from any any place and anywhere. So, okay, one database, uh, let us take an application which is designed by yourself. So, consider an application and we have created a particular database for that application. So, now uh, what you have to do is uh, the users will register in your app application, right? So, they only use one database. So there are no multiple databases are created for one particular app. So for a particular app or one single app, one database is being created. And for that database, many of the users can access the database, like uh, registering, uh, like uh, logging, signing, uh, sign up, etc. So here, Firebase is a open source platform, but it's not free. But uh, you can use Firebase free platform for up to certain uh, features, okay? So not all features can be accessed with a uh, free plan. So I'm going to discuss uh, about the free plan and the paid plan. So after this uh, presentation. So next you can see some advantages in Firebase like a real-time database and digit use. So I am uh, explaining uh, up, uh, we are not going briefly because uh, we have discussed these all uh, advantages, disadvantages of Firebase and what are the plugins and what we are used in Firebase. So everything we have discussed in our previous sessions. So for getting a small idea, I'm going to discuss about this. So here you can see real-time database. Uh, you can see real-time database uh, like uh, connecting many devices with single database. Okay, And it's easy to use where you can use the Firebase very easily. So you can uh, manage and access databases very easily without any code, okay? Less code, uh, much more features, okay? So it is scalable and multi-platform support and it consists of a cloud-based Firebase storage. So where many of the servers have been built, where many of the users can access the servers uh, from particular device. So what are the disadvantages is, so limited customization, I told you, right? So paid plan and uh, some free plan, I mean, paid and free. So here you can see uh, in free plan only some features where you cannot customize more features, okay? So it will only give limited features where you can customize your app up to only particular features, okay? You cannot access more features, okay? So to access more features, you have to uh, purchase a plan. So if not, for testing purposes and uh, for knowledge purpose of practice test right so developing an apps for your practice sake then i suggest free plan because uh, free plan is much more better for practicing so if you are creating your application for business purposes or you are going to uh, upload it publish in your play store or app store or it's coming to your personal app or some or other games like etc so when are you going to pub, uh, publish your application which you have built in, uh, in publicly so you have to uh, take the paid plan of the firebase okay because it consists of much more security compared to the free plan okay so it consists of much more storage and uh, high security and 24 by 7 support Okay, so these are all are being uh, given by that particular plan. Okay, 
next uh, security concerns okay security concerns are also being going to change according to the particular plan which you have been taken so cost so firebase is a paid platform so okay it's a paid platform but you can use a free platform also okay for practice purpose okay so paid it's not much more uh, suggestible to take you if you are going to publish um, a big applications like startups and some etc etc applications right then i suggest to uh, take paid application because uh, the security will be in high uh, very high highly maintained so that uh, the users uh, data will be secured in a particular manner so whereas a free platform right we can't give any uh, guarantee for the user data okay so it may access by third party platforms so here you can see some firebase plugins like authentication authentication means uh, register login and email verifications and some social plugins social logins like google login facebook login twitter github apple so these are some authentications right verifications so these are comes under firebase plugins so these are uh, one type of firebase so cloud firestore so here cloud firestore is nothing but where you can uh, store the data okay here you have to create a cloud storage so after creating a cloud storage you have to uh, create a database so that uh, the user data right so the user data is everything is going to be stored in a particular uh, database which have been created okay in the firebase so next coming to the analytics so analytics is nothing but uh, which is uh, google analytics so just for suppose it tracks the uh, particular performance of your application so we have installed the firebase in a particular application which you have been designed okay so after installing it uh, okay you have published your app into the play store so many of the users uh, just for suppose 100 plus users or 1000 plus users have been installed your app and they are using it. so how to know that the app is particularly performant so how to know the performance of the app so here the google analytics uh, mainly used for uh, to track the performance of the app and it also gives the statements that where your app is going to be drawback and what you have to be up updated so everything the data will be provided by the firebase okay so that the developer uh, will take the decisions by uh, according to that particular data which was given by the uh, analytics so it makes a developer to easy uh, his work okay so this is the another uh, presentation so now first of all um, how to install flutter okay so here come here so here you have to see add firebase to your flutter app right so i told you in a previous session like we have to install the firebase cli and we have to uh, log into our firebase account so i'll install it again so simply click on install on firebase so okay so after uh, clicking on it you will get here windows mac os and linux okay so click on windows so after clicking on windows you will get here download the firebase cli binary for window right so click on it so that you will uh, going to download a cli file okay so it's just uh, 134 mb okay so it's a terminal so for flutter how we use uh, flutter sdk right so for firebase it's a terminal where you can link the firebase to your flutter application so without using this firebase cli you can't even uh, link your firebase to your flutter application okay mm -hmm. so this is the main thing so there are two processes so where you can uh, create this firebase applications so this cli are all uh, being explained in our previous session but okay uh, coming to today's session i'm going to explain everything uh, regarding firebase okay uh, yeah he, you can see this pop-up windows protected your pc but okay uh, click on more info and uh, click on run anyway so it doesn't uh, get any virus issues etc so it's a trusted application no issues so this is the interface which you are going to see so here you can see uh, checking your firebase credentials so if any google accounts or microsoft accounts which have been logged in your particular computer or uh, laptop so it will first of all it will check the credentials which have been uh, suitable for your firebase and it will be uh, show the output okay after uh, checking the firebase credentials okay so it takes some time so cli setup it has to set up right so until then uh, for mac os you have to install the node.js i think uh, many of them know uh, what is node.js right 
so you have to install the node.js to run it in a mac os okay so after installing it uh, simply click on firebase login okay simply copy it so still it's uh, taking some time okay no issues uh, let's discuss about some firebase okay so come to the firebase website so click on firebase so here you can see uh, make your app best it can here you can see some animations and some text okay so try demo so try demo is nothing but a free plan where you can use uh, particular products and apps for your free for practice purpose right okay so here you can build uh, your applications like uh, cloud fast or authentication extensions like here you can see some features which have been provided by your uh, firebase okay so when you link your uh, firebase with your particular application so these are some features which you can access okay so you can use cloud fast or authentication and some extensions uh, there will be some extensions right in authentication process so you can see some extensions if you want any extensions you can add extensions according to your particular uh, designing so you can see crash analytics uh, performance monitoring google analytics and remote configuration cloud messaging and a b testing so cloud messaging is nothing but uh, like messaging applications etc okay so there you can uh, manage them so here you can see some firebase extensions like uh, trigger email run payments so here payment methods can be done by stripe so stripe uh, razor pay so these are some uh, payment methods so which are being supported by the firebase okay so stripe is also a popular payment gateway so which is being used by some firebase wordpress blogger and some google cloud and you can also uh, mainly uh, used by these applications okay you can see razor pay stripe payment and these are all okay so they are popular payment gateways so which are supported by the uh, firebase and the wordpress and here you can see some integrations again okay? so google ads and admob so google ads and admob is nothing but you can uh, run your ads uh, in your particular application so you have to create an account in the admob or google ads so for application purposes you have to create an admob account so after create, uh, creating an admob account you have to uh, copy paste the credentials which have been given in admob and you have to paste it in your firebase application so where to display ads and uh, uh, at which positions and how many ads it should be uh, shown so you have to design it according to your particular development and you have to uh, link it so by this you can earn some revenue uh, from the application which you have been developed okay so this process are all known by you and google marketing platform google play and slack bigquery etc and here you can see cloud uh, google cloud plus firebase so here you can see uh, now we are discussing about flutter plus Fire, uh, firebase right you can also uh, combine this google cloud and also firebase and you can also create applications or you can not, not applications you can create uh, websites okay web pages you can design so you can host your web pages in google cloud or firebase and you can uh, use the backend as a firebase and you can uh, use authentication processes for firebase and you can uh, design the particular thing so here you can see firebase projects are back and backed by google cloud so here you can see right so many of the apps and games which are using the firebase is duolingo i think many of them heard about duolingo right so next coming to the game loft the new york time and uh, divago and c trip so Wattpad. so there are some applications which are being used by the firebase okay so here you can see some latest news and events okay so these are some blog area so where you can uh, get detailed notice uh, detailed uh, description when you click on it so come to the uh, you can see solutions and you can see products okay and you can see some documents regarding the firebase and what is firebase and everything you can see firebase community you can uh, take support from the firebase if you want any help so now click on simply pricing so after clicking on pricing here you can see no cost plan comes under spark plan and uh, pay as you can comes under blaze plan so uh, for practice purpose i suggested you as a spark plan because uh, it gives uh, authentication okay 10k users per month and uh, you can uh, other, you can also use other authentication services like uh, mobile authentication and email authentication and google authentication etc and monthly active users are up to 50k per month and monthly active users uh, SEML or OIDC 
so these are some monthly subscriptions okay and cloud fire storage so here you can use only uh, some limited storage for free plan you can't uh, get unlimited okay here you can see a uh, no cost up to 1 gib total then google cloud pricing so here also you can get only 1 gib total but after finishing it you will get google cloud okay we can see before right google cloud plus uh, firebase okay so if the storage is being filled in the cloud fire store then you can link the firebase to the google cloud and you can back up all the files and you can uh, then you can use the google cloud okay so it offers google cloud okay here so and also cloud functions and uh, cloud messaging so cloud messaging uh, is applicable for both so okay uh, next coming to cloud storage it use only 5 gb okay next uh, download storage is 1 gb per day only uh, only some particular storage should be the download only per day is 1 gb okay so not much more than so next coming to uh, multiple buckets so buckets means nothing but uh, when you create a database uh, okay there is a limit only uh, this many users should come under a particular day okay so it may create some buckets okay when you when a new uh, user is being registered it count, uh, comes out the bucket like uh, these many register uh, users have some bucket okay so next coming to the hosting like storage only 10 gb storage and 360 mb per day data transfer is being only 360 mb per day and next uh, custom domain and ssl so I think SSL everything you know, uh, here you can see a log symbol, right? So this is nothing but a, uh, called as an SSL, okay? And the domain is nothing but firebase.google.com. This is a domain of a particular Firebase website. So this is being uh, given by the Firebase for free. So how this Firebase uh, web page is being, right? Uh, um, let us suppose take uh, your website name as a Firebase, okay? Then how the domain will be going to be uh, by generation of the firebase right firebase.web.app so that is the subdomain of the particular firebase if you want you can also add custom domain okay and you can also uh, uh, what create multiple sites per project okay with one uh, domain you can also create multiple sites okay next coming to the performance and uh, test labs google cloud so google cloud also it only gives only one feature but other features is not supported by the spark plan if you want these all features uh, i told right if you are going to build the application for business applications or for startup plans and etc so then i prefer to take a blast plan because uh, it consists of high security compared to the spark plan okay so i don't tell that uh, spark plan also doesn't consist of any security but it takes uh, some much more higher measures compared to the spark plan okay so if you want you can select the plan so it may charge up to some uh, dollars okay per month or per year according to that you can uh, change it so this is the thing and yeah here you can see it has been logged in so now i have logged in uh, to my account already so if you're not logged in you have to simply uh, Click on Firebase login if you have not logged successfully. Okay, so I have logged right, so I'm going to log out. Let me take some time. Yeah, I have logged out from the particular account, so I am again logging in. So Firebase login so after Firebase login. So it takes some time because it have to uh, gather the data right so simply click on yes and after clicking on yes you will uh, be redirected to the account so this is only the one account which i have been consisting in my uh, laptop so i'm going to choose this account so after choosing this account uh, simply click on allow so after allowing this you will get a uh, firebase cli login successfully and come again so here you can see successfully login so now uh, here come uh, wait a minute yeah after that here you can see firebase projects 
okay uh, you can uh, simply copy it and uh, simply paste it there and uh, click on enter so it takes some again time so this is the main thing is uh, this is the email id so under this email id these are the projects which have been created till now okay so if not no projects are being displayed so these are all the projects which have been created till now so these are all the projects have been displayed okay so if you have not created any projects then uh, it is not going to be dis uh, display anything okay so i am going to tell how to create a project uh, by using cli and also how to create a project without uh, using cli so after that uh, simply come down uh, wait a minute yeah to create a new project you have to click, uh, you have to use firebase init so simply paste it and enter so so that uh, a new firebase application is, uh, is going to be created so here it will ask some features like real time database so to select it uh, please click on uh, space and click on enter if you want only real time database now if you want fire store you can add that you can uh, add some emulators and you can also functions hosting storages etc and after selecting all click on enter so that your project will be going to be set up okay so click on this so after clicking on this uh, simply we have to click a firebase deploy so our application has been created so simply click on deploy after clicking on deploy you will get the console link okay so the console link will be given for your particular project which you have been generated okay so in the console link you can uh, link that particular thing yeah here you can see the project console link right so this is the console link and you can copy it simply here and wait a minute uh, let's copy this copy it and paste it here. Yeah, here you can see the console link. Okay, so this is the console link. So this is the thing where you can uh, create a Firebase account by using CLI. So without using CLI, how to create? So simply come to the Firebase. Okay. So here simply click on Add Project. So here you give a project name. So I'm going to give a Firebase. Uh, Firebase app. Okay. No, okay. no underscore for the okay. So okay, Firebase app is my application name. And here you can see a uh, Google Analytics. If you are going to upload this project in uh, Google Play Store or App Store, then you enable this Google Analytics for your project. If not, then simply uh, don't enable this uh, Google Analytics for your project because. Uh, may give uh, some performances what you have been doing okay so i don't recommend it so simply uh, off it okay and create a project so it takes some time Yeah, our app is being created. So simply click on continue. So after clicking on continue, so how to um, link your Flutter application to here? So here you can see Flutter application, don't click on it. So here you can see iOS and Android, right? So first of all, click on Android. Here it asks a package name, okay? So to give the package name, simply come to your application, okay? This is the basic code of your application, uh, demo uh, code of the Flutter application. So simply come under Android, under app, go to the build gradle, okay. So under build gradle, you can see here, uh, yeah, here you can see the application ID. So simply copy the application ID and here you can see the minimum SDK version, right. So remove that and make it 19, okay, then it will be going to be worked, okay. So simply open it and simply paste that here. So this is the app name, nickname, we can uh, give anything, we have given as demo, right? So demo. And uh, here you can see the SHA key. So SHA key is nothing but many of the users can uh, create that application with the name called demo, right? 
so uh, excuse me yeah so uh, how to generate this SHE key so here you can uh, I will give you some code okay uh, yeah this is for windows okay so simply uh, you have to copy this and you have to paste it in a terminal and you have to run it so here you can see a gap right here you have to paste your uh, application path okay you have to copy the application path and you have to paste it here and you have to uh, run it in a terminal so that you can uh, get the output uh, you can get the SHA key okay so SHA key is optional but if required you can so simply click on a register app so after registering an app uh, you will get a json file dot json file so you have to download the json file okay so you have to download it so after downloading it uh, come to your firebase application and uh, come to the downloads okay or it's okay come to the downloads here so after coming to the download simply uh, bring it your result should appear and paste it in under apps okay yeah so under apps it has been pasted okay so this is the thing uh, json file so here you can see your project number your project id your storage bucket id and uh, client infos and authentication infos etc okay you can see everything okay so after that simply click on next and add this particular codes uh, to your application and after adding it simply click on next and continue to the console so okay so yeah this is the application which you have been created so here you can see the build coming to the build so come to the authentication so here you can see simply get started so after getting started uh, wait a minute so it, you can see the email verification phone number google facebook play games game center apple github microsoft twitter yahoo right so here you can see uh, uh, enable the event and password and save it here and also uh, i want to add a new provider i also want to add a phone number verification then you can also use that particular thing so you can also save that and you can uh, you may cost for sms uh, sending an sms verification course okay you have to pay for that if not you can also disable this particular phone email is free okay you can send free email verifications okay so again i want to add google so please enable and uh, this is your project name okay so here you can see the uh, email is uh, i'm going to give my email and click on save so that the google is also being to be activated in your particular authentication okay so you have to build your authentication so that uh, it is going to be done so here you can see uh, here for google authentication you have to uh, give the sha key okay so make sure uh, to uh, do this code okay i am going to give this code at the end of the session so copy this code and paste the copy uh, paste the part of a particular application so that you can uh, uh, useful for use the google authentication etc okay so and you can see here the authentication template so when a provider goes an email address verification this is the address of, uh, this is the email uh, where you can where is and uh, receiver can see here and you can see the display message hello display name so the username and the authentication verification link okay and this is the app team etc this is the thing and the change in email address multi-factor enrollment and sms verification is being in this form so login code is going to be displayed and it is a verification code for the particular app name. so this is the thing and you can see the usage so how many users are being using it and you can see uh, you can make some settings okay these are some extensions if you want any extensions regarding the authentication you can add according to your particular development and again come to that and come on under fire store okay so under fire store yeah here you have to create a cloud fire store so simply click on create database and here you can see the productive mode your data is private by default client read write access will be only granted as specified your security rules so here your data is open by default to enable quick setup however you can 
master bedroom. So I'm going to uh, do it in a test mode. Okay. So simply click on next and you have to choose a location. So make it default uh, United States and simply click on enable. Uh, it takes some time to enable. Yeah. So this is the fire store of your particular uh, project. Okay. So here you can see the star collection and query builder, etc. Right. Here you can see query builder and also panel view. So here in the star collection, simply uh, create a database. So collection ID. So simply give a collection ID like a Firebase app 01. So this is the collection ID of a particular user. So you have registered a particular user, okay? So that user collection ID is Firebase app 01. So uh, ID should be auto generated and field as name and name value is uh, demo project, okay? So simply click on a save. Yeah, you can see the user ID. So this is I am creating manually by uh, from directly from the dashboard. But without creating directly from the dashboard, if a user created an account uh, directly from your application, this is the way where the data is being stored. So when your uh, user created an uh, account from your particular application, so here the uh, user id will be generated and user id means particular account id okay and the uh, user id and name or date of birth or phone number everything will be generated here so when you click on it uh, the particular data is being displayed okay when you click on it the data is being displayed okay so this is the process okay so here you can see some process and everything so this is some introduction regarding um, firestorm and again, you can see real time database. Here, you can see the real time database. You have to create a database and simply click on uh, United States and uh, click on test mode or locked mode. Also, it's uh, regarding to you and test mode. So, database is nothing but uh, the user data is going to be stored in a particular database. Okay, so this is the particular thing. So here you can, this is the data where uh, the user's data is going to be stored, okay. And coming to the rules. So here you can see uh, uh, read, write according to your particular ID, okay. And backups and usage and these are all some uh, extensions, okay. And you can also see uh, some extensions and remote coding and hosting okay coming to the hosting you can also host your websites okay deploy web and mobile web apps in uh, seconds within using secure global content deliver, deliver network okay you can uh, build your uh, websites uh, by using uh, these free resources okay and coming to the release and monitoring crash analytics So here you can see the most powerful yet lightest weight crash reporting solution. So, so this is the particular thing and performance, okay. Performance of your application. So we have to add an SDK. So Firebase CLI, right? So you can see some introduction videos and how to install it and everything. So if these are all not necessary, if you are going to create a much more better projects, then you can use it. So you can use the uh, analytics so audience so dashboard so how many audience have been reached your application till now so these are all you can see and messaging you can see you can conduct campaigns uh, uh manage messages campaigns using new and different camp so you can uh, manage uh, the messaging campaigns okay by using this feature and you can see here add mob right so i told you add mob okay so to use the ad map, you have to enable the Google Analytics. So after using Google Analytics here, earn more from your apps, the smarter way by showing ads from millions of Google advisors. So here you can see uh, how to earn more money. So these are all. And you can see some authentication processes. So these are the thing. You can also add user manually, okay. 
you can add a you can add manually okay you can so same thing i'm going to add as a password and i'm going to add a user so the user will be added so the user id is being this is the particular user id okay you can uh, check the particular thing according to that particular user id and everything okay so that is a particular process thing so this is the thing okay uh, this is the basic uh, introduction about uh, the firebase and coming to the uh, firebase this is the firebase project here you can see wait a minute so this is the firebase code lab where you have to perform by yourself uh, here you can see uh, some basic code lab which is given by the firebase so you have to perform it uh, by using these instructions okay so simply uh, come on a github repository after coming to the github repository here only download the firebase get know to flutter because here you can see uh, firebase get to know flutter right you have to download this particular file and you have to uh, run okay only download that particular file and uh, uh, follow these particular instructions and run the application successfully. So these are the, all the instructions. So here the process is the same by creating a project and Google Analytics and uh, authentication. So these are some processes which have been discussed just now. Okay. So I think everyone knows how to open a terminal and how to add a pub, how to get the pub values, pub.dev, everything we have discussed in our Flutter sessions, right? So click on next next so yeah i have told you right uh, this particular database uh, here you can see firebase name data project cloud fast okay so this is the particular thing uh, you can read messages so to do that you have to simply install it and uh, click on next and you can see some basic security rules okay you can also change the security rules according to your development. Uh, so make sure uh, to follow these all code labs perfectly. So this is a particular code lab. And also uh, make sure uh, to do, uh, I mean, CLI perfectly, okay? So I told you, I discussed you about two uh, things like CLI and both uh, Firebase. <laughs> So now uh, I'm going to discuss about pub.dev. So under pub.dev, I'm going to suggest you only uh, two things. Firestore. So to run this uh, Cloud Firestore, you have to install the Cloud Firestore uh, particular thing in your uh, dependencies and you have to get the Flutter pub dependencies. So this is the main thing to run your uh, Firebase Cloud Firestore in your particular application. So make sure uh, to get the, all the pub values, uh, uh, all the dependencies and make sure to run your application. So this is the basic introduction about, uh, basic introduction regarding this particular uh, Firebase and everything. So you can uh, make sure uh, to use only free plan so that you can uh, get some idea regarding uh, how to uh, develop these all projects and everything. Yeah. So coming to a uh, cloud firestore, you can see uh, how to install the uh, pop add cloud firestore dependencies and how to import it and everything you can see here. And you can also see coming to here, you can see analytics dashboard release monitor and you can also perform the test labs from here okay test labs and everything okay and coming to your firebase account so you can also do some settings from here so comes on the uh, project settings so this is our project number where you can see here our project number project id we can see here right so that means successfully it is being linked okay so if you want any S uh, SHA you can also add uh, it later okay you can add it later if you want 
if it's mandatory so okay it's mandatory by using uh, google uh, authentication so okay so it's mandatory so if not you can it's not much more uh, mandatory to use and you can see google analytics google admo google ads and slack integrations okay service accounts and some data privacy users and permissions and cloud messaging so these are some uh, basic introduction regarding firebase so well, this is the thing how to create the firebase account and how to link uh, to the uh, flutter okay so i think uh, you all have been understand uh, how to link it with your particular flutter application so to link it with the flutter application you have to create and you have to install the json file after installing the json file you can uh, uh, use this particular pub.dev right so you have to copy this pub.dev and you have to paste it in your dependencies and you have to run uh, flutter pubget so that uh, you can uh, run this flutter project uh, with a particular firebase application so this is the uh, firebase setup process and everything so make sure to perform this code lab not only this code lab you can also see many of the code labs in uh, google so to get as a key make sure uh, to copy this code and you have to paste the path here and you have to uh, simply run in a terminal so make sure to run all the firebase uh, firebase code labs by using this particular thing so use the authentication and firebase firestore database to use the firestore database you have to install the uh, cloud firestore dependencies and then this uh, cloud firestore is going to be worked so i'm going to give a link here so wait a minute so this is the link so uh, yeah so uh, here you can see a uh, key tool right so here you have to uh, place the app path so that uh, the SS sha key is being generated for your particular project okay so without pasting the path of your application you cannot run this it will show an error okay so you have to paste your particular app location here and you have to run it so that is the mandatory so make sure uh, to save this code for window user uh, for window operating session not for mac or uh, linux for mac or linux you can uh, refer google for some more uh, knowledge so this is for only window operating system uh, this is the code only that also for android not for ios okay so this is the thing and here you can see some uh, audience messaging ad mobs so these are all so uh, this is the end of the firebase session i think uh, you may understand what is firebase and what are the tools and everything how to use the tools and how to link the firebase and flutter so to get more knowledge and to get more practice so you have to perform this code labs okay so i told right uh, simply go to the sample code and you can see uh, github repository under github repository simply download this zip file and only uh, extract this particular folder that is uh, yeah firebase get to know flutter so upload this particular project and simply uh, uh, run it so that you can uh, use uh, this firebase authentication okay so here you can see at the end you can uh, wait a minute uh, yeah write messages to firestore so here you can write a messages okay here you can uh, write your messages and you can send so after sending that particular messages that messages are going to be stored in a particular uh, firestore database okay here wait a minute yeah here firestore database it is going to create uh, you're going to save in your firestore database so everything like real time databases and firestore databases are the main two databases where the data uh, data all being stored okay so we have to link uh, this uh, in order to link this we have to use the cloud firestore okay so without using this cloud firestore dependency uh, you cannot uh, link it with the flutter okay i think we have to know how to link uh, this dependencies okay we have discussion of flutter sessions so not only this you can also uh, 
you can also contain many code labs like here you can see some firebase learn more about firebase okay sorry yeah here you can see some uh, building uh, build uh, firebase so to build the firebase you can see uh, featured products and uh, According to that authentication, what are the projects and everything for Android users, for get started, manage users, and everything you can uh, see according to their documents. Okay, so simply follow this so that you can get an idea. Okay, here you can see Kotlin, Java, and okay, sorry for the interruption. Yeah, so these are some uh, processes how to. Uh, Develop and uh, how to run the Firebase applications uh, by linking it with uh, Flutter. Okay, so this is the end of the session. So make sure uh, to try these all code labs. Okay, so is there any doubts regarding the session? Yeah, is there any doubts regarding the session? You can ask. Yeah, okay, thanks for joining the session. So, uh, we completed the Firebase and Flutter. So, make sure uh, to try these all code labs, okay? So, without trying this code labs, you cannot... Uh, it, yeah, without trying this code labs, uh, you won't get any idea how to run this Flutter application. So, okay, we have discussed about more documents and... Uh, codes and uh, code lines and terminals and some dependencies okay so without practice in the code labs uh, there will be no practice okay so mainly focus on firebase and flutter because uh, you can uh, use the registrations and you can also verify your applications and you can also verify your emails you can get verification codes so it will be a little bit uh, much more interesting okay compared to uh, by using only single application flutter without uh, linking it uh, anyone anything so it may uh, get some little, uh, little bit more so uh, link it with the firebase so that you can uh, create much more i mean better projects okay so that is the thing i would like to say so thanks for joining